A senior Syrian commander says U.S.-backed forces have liberated the city of Raqqa from ISIS terrorists. It would be a major defeat for an extremist group said to be collapsing. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin is following the situation from the Pentagon tonight. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Brett. The Pentagon isn't yet ready to pronounce the ISIS capital completely liberated. At a press briefing earlier today, a U.S. military spokesman told reporters 90 percent of Raqqa has been captured and roughly 100 ISIS fighters remain in the city. But that's not the biggest threat. The fight in Raqqa is more about a fight against IEDs and explosives than it is against ISIS. Highlighting the danger, Colonel Ryan Dillon said a U.S.-backed Syrian commander was killed by a roadside bomb while walking in Raqqa yesterday. 350 ISIS fighters have surrendered in the past week, but the pending fall of the ISIS capital doesn't mean the end of ISIS yet. Colonel Dillon said the fight will move to eastern Syria, where ISIS leaders have fled in recent months. Next door in Iraq, ISIS controls just 3 percent of the country, including a pocket along the Syrian border. Overall, about 6,500 ISIS fighters remain in Syria and Iraq. Today marks exactly three years since the U.S.-led coalition formed to fight ISIS. When ISIS fighters took Raqqa, there were iconic images of them parading in the streets and this armored vehicle doing donuts in the traffic circle. Today, U.S.-backed fighters recreated that scene by doing their own donuts to celebrate. Officials warn that ISIS will likely go underground to countries like Yemen, where the Pentagon says for the first time U.S. aircraft bombed two ISIS training camps yesterday. The Pentagon is concerned about what happens the day after Raqqa is liberated. There is no question when a terrorist group loses its capital, it's a big win. Hundreds of U.S. troops remain in Syria. Senior U.S. and Russian officers met face to face last week for the second time in a month as both countries seek to stay out of each other's way as the fighting moves to eastern Syria, Brett. Jennifer Griffin, live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.